With any further ado, it's an honor to put you on Tom Crabbe, but... There's a certain aspect of that that's true. You know, I mean, if you just randomly pick martial arts schools out of the phone book, the chances of you finding one that's going to teach you really how to fight, like in real life, when shit goes sideways, pretty unlikely, pretty unlikely. You're going to get a lot of uh, people wanting to sell you black belts and stuff like that. We have to understand, too, that violence is not, see, actual violence or the use of violence is not necessarily the currency. The currency is the threat of violence. Actual violence is just to establish that that is on the table. We're going to look at the universal of readiness. What does it mean to be ready? How many times have you heard someone say, yeah, I was born ready? No, you weren't. That's bullshit. You weren't born ready. You were a baby and you were shitting your pants. So, you know, the bravado is not something I need. I don't need bravado. What I need is intelligence. When your mission changes, you need to be ready to change aspects of your, of your readiness to fit that mission. So, component parts. Three basic component parts of readiness. Awareness willingness and preparedness. If your job is being lethal, then be more lethal every day. If your job is being a good protective agent, be more capable in that regard every day. Find out what that means. Study. That's preparedness. Awareness, willingness, preparedness. Find out how you improve each one of those and you will improve your personal readiness. You will become more ready. And when someone says, are you ready? You run through that checklist and you go, yeah, I am. If I don't have this thing off and he gets to here, rap, 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 yeah. So now, for me to use that leg is a bit more difficult. Now you just reach out and you can just whip into that arm with a tip. The whole mic is going to get it back. And then I got knees here. I got knees here. I got it easier, right? Now, at this point, I'm watching him, and as I pull this out and lock this elbow. So this hand, as he pulls it back, he just brings me with him. Yeah. He just brings me with him. If he's super strong, I just shuffle him along. And he gets to wear him out, yeah. So if I don't have this, I end up getting spun around like this, which is awesome. Super bad for me.